What's up guys, Thomas from FJ 6 b Factory and it's time for a new products video. So let's get into all the new products that we've gotten in for the month of August. First thing we have is the OLM rear window visor. It's actually applied to our BRZ here. It goes on the rear windshield and it's a little like duck bill. It gives the, uh, the silhouette of the car a different look. It's almost like a rear windshield louver, um, but it's actually made out of the same material as the OLM rain guards. It's the same tint, same color and everything. So it's gonna match perfectly if you already have those OLM rain guards. And this is applied with double-sided tape. New from Carbon Reproductions is their TRD Carbon Fiber Spoiler. This is a duckbill style spoiler and it fits on all FRS BRZs and 8.6s all years. It's installed on our 2017 8.6 right now with the use of some double-sided 3M tape. However, it does come with some hardware if you wanna drill some holes and hard mount this wing to your car. But if that's not, if you're not, if you're not comfortable drilling holes into your trunk, you can just use the 3M adhesive. For those of you that like the shark fin look, but your car came with the basic antenna setup like uh, this track car here, we actually have the parent shorty antenna installed. But if you want a super seamless look with like the shark fin provides, GCS has just come out with seven paint matched colors for their new shark fin. And these aren't just covers. They're actually, they have antennas built in so you'll, you'll screw this down to the port on the roof. And the shark fin itself is adhered to the car with some double-sided tape. This month, we brought in two new sequential LED taillights, one from Buddy Club and one from Tom's. The Buddy Club ones are the JDM version with the clear lens and the black housing, and the Tom's are essentially the same version just with a red lens. So let's give them a quick look and run through all the functions. We've also got some new side markers. These are from Helix. We've actually been running the old Helix smoke side markers on the 8.6 for quite a while. Those use the actual bulb and we upgraded to the OLM uh, LED bulb. And those are cool. Just the LED bulb has a hotspot on them. But with the new one, this is all internal. It doesn't take a bulb, but it has a very nice diffused amber color right there. Look at that. It's all one color. I think it looks a lot better and since all of it is internal, it doesn't take a bulb, it has this little connection here um, that goes right in place where a bulb would normally go. Our fittings on here were originally loose. Uh, the plug that goes in here, it wasn't, it, it could wiggle out just because it was loose. I think it could just be our car because we've had a bunch of bulbs swapped in and out for uh, testing. So all I had to do was I took a little pick and then I just bent the connections there so it gives a nice uh, solid connection for when you plug this in. So hopefully it won't unplug if you hit a really big bump. So this is solid to go in now. We just feed this into the bumper. And we gotta wait for that nice solid click. There we go, now it's installed. That looks way better in my opinion. For those of you that have a 2013 and 2016 BRZ and you wanna upgrade your headlights, we've got Profile Pixels DRL LED boards. And this is gonna allow you to choose basically any color you want to run your DRLs with. And they also have switchback functionality so your DRLs can now act as your turn signals and switch back to your DRLs. Now I don't have these installed yet, but I'm gonna be doing an install video soon. But right now you can check out this clip that's installed on the WRX, which will kind of show you what it'll look like. Just imagine it being on a BRZ. But what you need to do to get this installed is you're gonna have to take the headlights out of the car, which will mean taking off the front bumper and then undoing a whole a few bolts to get the headlight assembly out. Then you're gonna open up the headlight assembly and you're gonna be switching out this C light here with the one provided in the kit. And that's really all that is. And I'll, I'll go more in depth in the installation video that'll be coming out shortly. But this is new from Pixel, from Profile Pixel. We've also got some new wheel spacers in this month from Noble Performance. We've got two. We've got a slip-on spacer and we've also got a conversion bolt-on spacer. Now the slip-on spacer is five millimeters thick and that's good if you have just a little bit of wheel clearance problems with your brake caliper or maybe your wheel or your tires hitting your factory struts. 
this can probably solve your problem and this is dual drilled so you get 5x100 volt pattern drilled in here as well as a 5x114.3 so if you got another car this can work on that as well the other spacer is the bolt on conversion spacer this converts the 5x100 pattern that the FRS BRZ in 860 uses to the way more popular 5x114 pattern that literally every other car uses and this is a 15 millimeter spacer now for the interior, we've got a couple new parts. The first one being this new OEM TS style Subaru shift knob. This has come this comes straight out of the TS styles. It's actually very similar to like the Subaru WRX STI shift knobs. It's got some weight to it as well. I don't remember the stock shift knobs in these cars being uh, this heavy. So it might be heavier than stock. I'm not sure. It's not it's not going to be like a full metal stainless steel shift knob, but it's some nice some nice weight to this. Um, it's very similar to the uh, WRX STI ones, same color and feel and everything, except for the uh, gate pattern is different since so reverses to the left and forward on these cars. Now, the other thing we got for the interior is also a TS part. This is the Ultra Suede uh, TS upper door trim. It's, it's the part that goes right here that your arm would sit against if you had it hanging out of the window. Um, it's the same basically as um, our 2017 uh, suede upper door trim panel, except for this one is done in a red stitching since the entire interior of our 8.6 is done in silver. This one, you can see a little pop. Um, it also per worked perfectly with uh, any 2013 to 2016 cars that have red stitching in there. So for this month, we've got two new interior TS parts. Now the last two things I have for you guys are some JDM parts for the 2017 and newer BRZ. The first one is this STI fender garnish insert. It'll sit about right here on a 2017 and newer BRZ. This is obviously an 8.6 with an aftermarket Intec fender garnish. But these are from the STI BRZ over in Japan and they're not made to fit the USDM cars that we have over here. So there's these two little locator pins that you're going to have to shave off in order to make them fit on our cars over here in the US. And the other JDM part are the STI fog light bezels without the fog light holes. These are the gloss black ones that are run on the BRZ STI overseas and those are now available on our website. Well, those are all the parts I have for you guys this month. As always, the links are gonna be down in the description. If you have any questions at all, feel free to send us an email at sales at fg86speedfactory.com. This is Thomas and I'll see you guys in the next video. We actually been running the old smoke Celix hide Celix side markers Celix hide markers <laughs>